The only reason why you're on the throne is because you took, it was taken by military force under Alexander the Great. Not Alexander the Great. Alexander the Greek. Well, nothing great about him. Y'all following what I'm saying? Ptolemy the first, Soter, was a good friend of Alexander. And that's how he ended up becoming the first fa European pharaoh of Kemet. Caused the council meeting at Nicaea. Well, to understand that, we have to go back to the first European pharaoh in history. His name was Ptolemy the First Soter. I told you I was going to present some archaeological evidence. This is what this is. This is what you mean. This is what I mean when I say evidence that demands a verdict. This is not somebody that we just made up. Here's a coin that dates back to this man's administration. The first European pharaoh. He was the beginning of what is called the Ptolemaic dynasties of ancient Egypt. I take that back. There's no such thing as an ancient white person. Did y'all hear what I said? They ain't been around long enough to refer to them as ancient. Okay, so if they're doing anything, it's recent. It's Johnny come late. Here you have this man, Ptolemy I, also known as Soter. Now, write down the word Soter, S-O-T-E-R. Write that down. You can see the years of his life, 367 to 283 BCE, approximately in then. Whenever you see CA before dates, that means circa, means approximate. You write, did you write down S-O-T-E-R? Now, after that, write in parentheses, I mean like, just make parentheses, but you're going to continue the word. I-O-L-O-G-Y. What does it spell? Soteriology. Exactly. Who knows what soteriology is? The doctrine or the study of salvation. Right. You know why? Because the word soter means savior. You need to understand the historicity here. This man, when he became Pharaoh in Egypt, he wanted the Egyptians to, co to consecrate him as a god. Why? Not capital G-O-D, small G-O-D. Why was that? Because all of the pharaohs of Egypt, of Egypt were called gods. With a small G. That's why they said Asa Ra. A son of God. Every pharaoh was considered a god. Now, this European pharaoh comes in and he wants them to make him a god. But the Egyptians did not do that. The Egyptians said, no, you don't belong here in the first place. Check out his boldness. He took upon himself, or himself, the name Meriamun. Satepenra. Sound familiar? Ursa Ma'at Ra. Satepen Ra. Rametsu Meriamun. Mary means beloved or loved. Amen is God. So Mary Amen means beloved or loved of God. Satepen Ra means chosen by God. This, he wasn't given this name. He took it upon himself. Well, he insisted that they make an image in his honor. Oh, shucks now. The Egyptians didn't 
didn't want to do that, so he started putting them to death. So he found a group of sellout Egyptians, Melkite, Coptic Egyptians, and the city of Manepha, which is known today as Memphis. The priest at Memphis, which was also the capital back then, the priest at Memphis said, we'll consecrate you to the priesthood. Why did they sell out? Right, you saved their behind. Exactly. Guess what? It still goes on today. Yes. So they sold out and they consecrated him to uh, the office of Pharaoh and they made an image. They made an image in honor of him and this image is called Serapis. Y'all following me? Y'all sure? So you got to understand this. You can't share this with nobody else if you don't understand it. The worship of Serapis. You see, this dude, Ptolemy the first, that is, that's Serapis. The Egyptian version of Serapis, dating back to approximately 350 BCE. This is the image that they made in honor of Ptolemy the first Soter. Okay? What is Os Osiris? They took the name Osiris and combined it with the word Apis, which means the bull. All right, all right. Osiris. It became Serapis. Now here's the deep thing about it. Ptolemy the first tried to incorporate the religions, the religion of the Greeks into Egypt by creating the worship of a new God. And this was that God in honor of him called Serapis. Now, it was really a composite deity as you see here. Again, as I said, made up, it look kind of dumb, don't it? But hey, you know, the Egyptians had to give him something to appease him. Okay? And as you see here, over here is the Greco-Roman version of Serapis, the painting. How do you know that Serapis? By the cup on top of his head. Right. Y'all see it? Now, what year are we talking here? Greco-Roman, 135 BCE. So this can't be Jesus. If he had existed, it can't be Jesus. You follow what I'm saying? This is the image that the Greeks made the Africans worship. Yeah, buddy. Hmm. In fact, to show you how deep this goes, there was a correspondence from Emperor Hadrian referring to the Alexandrian worshipers. Where's Alexandria? Come on, talk to me. Where's Alexandria? In Egypt, Africa, right? Yes. The Alexandrian worshipers of Serapis calling themselves what? The bishops of Christ. Now that's deep. There was no Jesus. There was no Jesus. But yet these people refer to themselves as the bishops of Christ. And here's what he says, Egypt, which you commended to me, my dearest Sir Servianus, I have found to be wholly fickle and inconsistent. Putting down Egypt, okay, I can deal with that. And continually wafted about by every breath of fame, the worshippers of Serapis here are called what? Wait a minute. The worshippers of Serapis are called Christians. And those who are devoted to the God, Serapis, I find, call themselves the bishops of Christ. Don't take my word for it, family. Go verify it. Just type this in right here on the internet. This whole thing will come up. Now, what does that mean? That means, brothers and sisters, that... In Africa, this image of Serapis 
that goes all the way back to 350 BCE had become the object of worship. Y'all following me? This was by command. Arius. Everybody say a brother called Arius. A brother called Arius. He had a problem with it. And he made some noise about it. They say this, and I wonder how true it is. The only thing necessary for falsehood or evil to triumph is for good men or women to remain silent. Follow what I'm saying? Falsehood was on the loose. A black man named Arius from Libya came forth and said, enough is enough. He began to explain to her, and you all see what years he lived here, 256 to 336 AD. So guess what? We're talking about the time of the Council of Nicaea, 325 AD. Needless to say, you see he died 11 years later. Okay? And I wonder, did he die or was he killed? Arius, yeah, buddy. Arius lived at a time when the church was divided because of the Christological dispute which he was instrumental in starting. He taught that, and everybody write this down, Christus, C-H-R-I, I'm sorry, C-H-R-I-S-T-U-S, Christus. Christus was also the nickname for Seraphis. What word do you see there? Christ. Christ, exactly. Not a Jesus, Serapis. And guess what, y'all? This is deep. This marble image right here, this is the newfangled version of Serapis. Okay, and they've used, they've used this bearded figure. This is now the image that they use for Jesus today. Okay, because Serapis, you know, or I do in a few minutes show you the comparison. This marble bust of Serapis, which is in where? London. London Museum. Right now, as I'm talking to you, that's in the London Museum. Have you were there? Did you see it? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. This is in the London Museum. Why haven't we been, why haven't we been taught this? Why y'all who grew up in the church all your life? Why weren't you taught this? Why were not taught it? You can't teach it. Because it will cause the Christian church to shut down. Arius was making noise, man. He was telling everybody, this deity that y'all are worshiping is not deity. He was made by people's hands. Go back here. He, look at that. He was made, he was formed out of metal. How do you tell a people who have been worshiping Serapis for over two and a half centuries that what they've been worshiping ain't real? How do you do that? Arius was causing such a problem because people started listening to him. And they started doing their research and finding out the man was telling the truth. We're worshiping an image that was made in honor of Ptolemy the first. And the Son of God, which, which this is called the Son of God, same as with Jesus, the Europeans took the S-U-N, talk to me black people, 